Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to review Ansel OB D2 scanner. This is well built with a large LCD display that indicates the test result. So this package claim that it can do many functions like throttle body adaption, parking brake release, calibrate steering angle, easy oil reset and many more. So now let's unbox it. So the first thing I see here is LCD screen which is quite big. Also it comes with a silicon case. This button here is to trigger the events, up and down button for scrolling the menu, right and exit button allow you to navigate back and forth menu. So coming to the wire, it's a 1 meter long wire with a 16 pin OBD2 connector. It also comes with a USB cable for firmware upgrade so you don't need any battery charger to power up it can directly get energy from a obd2 data link connector from your vehicle also it comes with a manual in one language that is english and it's very self-explanatory so now let's go let's test this device in my nissan 2010 ultima so to connect this you will have to put that obd2 connector right here under the dash you will find it you just need to put that you will find the 16 pin right here just connect it and turn on your car so here is the display you will find all the details here so in this you will find following details so now let's go to the first step since i have nissan ultima i have to choose the first option if you have Volkswagen you are need to choose the other option here the second one for VW and it has more uh, advanced features so let's go inside so right now just entering I am entering the system it, it trying to connect so once it get connected you will get all the information so in this screen as you can see the first status mill status is off that tells that the engine light is off in my case so it's a good sign other thing you'll find in the diagnostic menu is you can read the code you can erase it so first one i'm going inside is the, is the read code you can see there is no fault code so that's a good thing now you can also see the vehicle information right right at the down so in my vehicle you'll find the information related to wind number or cid number all all those information you can get now let's check the other option uh, let's go to data stream so in data stream you'll find two options let's go to the second one select items so let's do that so as you can see there are various options i will choo choose one of it so there, there is all data stream of page everything you'll find let's choose the engine rpm so once you get set, as you can see when you will settle select it you'll get a checkbox get selected indication as b so here is my screen so in my engine rpm you'll find all the data uh, what i'm doing here is i'm accelerating my rpm here so once you you'll do that you'll find in the screen also it's getting increased so that's all about this handy diagnostic tool i find this tool really important uh, especially when and I, I would suggest to buy it especially when you are going to buy a second hand car uh, so that you won't get frauded by anyone and you can avoid any trips to mechanic also so it's a good good buy so this tool is not a problem solving tool it will just help you to diagnose the problem where it is and based on your knowledge you have to troubleshoot it so i i think i am done here i have covered everything so if you are interested to buy this you can check you can buy it in amazon or any other website so if you like my honest review, do like my channel and hit the subscribe button. Thank you.